Hello YouTube to and welcome to our 12th Unity tutorial and since we've been doing it last episode we added our thing um, battery placing from the asset store so now in this tutorial we are going to sort out the mesh colliders like I did say last time and then we are going to add a different camera view the ability to switch between them so you can either have third person like we have at the moment which would be not that but or first person view where it would be in his skull and like it will allow you to see out from his perspective um, yeah also ignore these things here I am testing ropes with hinges well different types of ropes basically because as we said a few tutorials ago we all wanted to do like scorpions get over here because it would be really cool but um, basically that would be a bit difficult yeah so without I did find one rope asset with physics and everything but it cost forty dollars and like this tutorial is like all free at the moment so I'll show you what I have at the moment with the things I haven't changed anything else, I was just testing that. Maximize, play again, like so. Um, so at the moment we have this. So if we, we can see it in game, don't we, about that. But this, first we could have a really small rope, like so. And then what we could do is, is it fires, it stretches. And then when it gets so far, it destroys. We could have that, or we could have loads of little segments of the rope hinged up to each other so I double tap this hinged up so like then we will have this effect but then th like that there are problems with that and something went destroyed anyway that's the kind of ropes what I'm thinking but yeah so still work in progress anyway now so yeah just ignore rope one and cylinder that's not important so yeah um, in this so like I said before we are going to do mesh colliders so we'll start with oh the obvious one the gun battery thing what we so only like but one problem I noticed when I was testing this is it's not on the floor so we move it on the floor so click the battery place get the move tool and as you can see the box collider is on the floor which we don't want so just click the box collider, box collider and remove component we don't want that what we need though is it to hit the floor be on the floor like so we're not going to attach a rigid body to this so it doesn't really matter um, if you can preferably get the stairs on the floor as well like so there we go now our character should be able to walk up here yeah but. so to add a mesh collider we s will do that in a minute a mesh collider is basically if you didn't get it last time is if we have a cylinder a sphere a ball that'd be easier and we we could just attach a ball collider on it but what about, what about if it had a nose and eyes and you wanted to go it perfectly smooth like this building here we want to be able to go in here but the box collider is blocking it there we can't go in so a mesh collider would take the actual shape of it and use it for its box slider so these walls here these walls here here will be the box collider the basic box collider yeah so it, it doesn't take up that much power like yeah so so to start we'll start on a battery place open it up and as you can see we have all these components here but first, if you try to do the easy way, click the battery place, component, physics, mesh collider, you will see no mesh comes up. And if we click that and even try searching for it, gun, nothing, battery, nothing, it's because it's not there. Because it was modelled on different items. So we could just zoom in, pick up this barrel here and move it, because it's all different. So what you have to do is put a mesh collider on each individual object. Yes, I know it may take a while, but luckily Unity has a pr solution. If you click the top one, scroll all the way back down, and find where it ends, which is the stairs, hold shift or whatever it is on Mac, and click. We have selected every single one. Don't select the group, the parent, just all the childs, and then parents. And then component, physics, mesh collider. 
do this, it puts it on but nothing's there. Click on a one and gone. Mesh, mesh, mesh. And the stairs are really important. Click the stairs. Stairs. We have officially done a mesh collider. So now let's test if it works. Of course we want this in full screen again. And right, so ping. Yes. As you can see we can now walk up. Yay! And yes, we definitely have to increase the size because as you can see, I'm pretty sure cannons were bigger than that. This is going to be massive when we do this, but yeah. But as you can see, that this hasn't got this hasn't got anything on it at the moment. Well, we need to change that. I thought I'd put one on there. Hmm. Well, either way, we'll just have to get rid of the box collider on that one and change the same to a mesh collider. So it should be the same principle. So if we click the text building, and oh yeah, that's why it's unticked. But yeah, click delete your thing collider. Save again. Go inside. Select everything. Go to the scene view so we can actually see what we're doing. There. Scroll all the way down and select the last window. As you can see, we select everything. Component physics mesh collider. Boom. Done. Hold on again, just check a few, make sure they are done. Some of them won't, like the parents, but just ignore them. Now if we play, we can. Yes, Hadouken. I like that Hadouken, it's just cool. As you can see, we can now hit everything. Of course we can glitch it by doing that, which we will eventually solve later in a, another tutorial. But yeah, we can now walk diagonals you can do it all that's a, that's tiny I've just noticed a door wow that building's gonna have to be bigger but not yet but yeah there we so we could like from here add more models put ma mesh colliders on them yes this will work for players and coins and stuff and everything too but like the coins when they like that would be difficult to catch so we just I'm gonna keep them in a box and eventually I want to change that as well. I don't really like that because it's just a mess. Yeah, so. Now, carrying on because that's nearly been 10 minutes of our unit. So we only get 15. So, we'll make our quick f um, camera script so we can change. Because this is really easy. Um, I also want to say, whatever I do on my tutorials, like whichever way I code it, you could go somewhere else and they would say it is much better, someone else much better. This is my personal preference to what I think is good. I may change mine in the future, blah, blah, blah. Other tutorials will say different, but you follow my tutorial, so you may as well follow this thing. Yeah, so um, the camera, what we're going to do is we're going to have two cameras. One, which is here. And then one which is in his head. And when one's on, the other one's off. And then when we press the button, they switch. So first one's off, second one's on. And same again, then again, then again, and switch that. Out. So we can see. So to start, create a new script. Create, well, go into our scripts folder first. There. Right click, create new it's JavaScript, and we'll call it camera underscore switch. Like so. Easy. Next, we will duplicate our camera. Right click duplicate or control slash command D. And then we will name this to main camera bracket FPS for first person shooter. Yeah. So, as you can see, our camera is all the way here. So, drag it into the scene. And on this camera, we don't actually need the smooth follow because if Where's it going there? If we have a smooth follow, it will constantly try to go behind the character, and we need it pretty much on the character. So, remove the smooth follow, and all we'll do is put it on the character's head. No, put it as a child as character, that's right. Yeah. And Shang Tsung wants to, well, Shao Kahn wants to hide away. So, click our FPS camera and zoom rating right and put it on his head. Like so. If you click the camera here, you can actually see here what it will basically look like. As you can see, if we drag it back, you can actually not see anything because it's now in the center. If we put it in the center here of his head, you can actually see we'll see through his skull. So you can either, 
yes, it's a cool effect, but like, mm, when you get closer, it like disappears. Like, yeah. So I'm just gonna have it here, so just out of bounds, right in the middle of his head. Zoom into the front. There we go. We've got his eyes. Move it across a bit. Uh, you don't have to be spot on. Then what we'll do is we'll disable this game object like so. So that one's gone, but it is still there. Then drag that and stick it in the character there. So now that will not move. Wherever the character goes, that will go, which is what we want. So next, open up our bullet or camera switch there. Again, ignore all these. Uh, put it down here. Right, first we'll create three variables. First one will be our first camera as we want it as a game object. So we'll create var um, third cam. No, cam third, yeah. And then colon game object with capitals. And same again, cam FPS game object. And then our third one will be a boolean or boolean, whichever way you want to say it. Um, so we want this, so when it's on, the first camera is active, when it's off, the second one's active. And we will just make it do that, so we're just creating a little kind of loop. So we will call this which cam, so like which cam is on, you can call it whatever you like. And we'll make this boolean, in fact screw it, with just equal true, false, start off with false, yeah. So here, if input... So basically we just want to create an if statement for whichever key you want to change the camera. I'm going to make it a V, so it's like every kind of game I've played, always V is to change the camera, C is to crouch. So we're not going to call it C. So if input dot get key down with capitals, open bracket, open speech marks, and we'll eat that. just put V here. Two brackets, one speech mark, curly brackets. So if input like get key down V, so in fact we won't get key up, so you can't like hold it down and it freaks out. So we have to let go. We want which cam. In fact, we want to do an if statement. If which cam equals false, which it does, then it'll turn it no. Turn it to true. Like so. However, now we're doing an else statement. Else. Thing. Basically, the difference between is putting two if statements and an else statement is if statement will read this one, then read this one. Whether this one's active or this one's active, it'll just read it, then read that one. However, if an else if, else if statement will read it, if this one, if this one's false or not true, then it'll read this one. So, yeah, I hope you got that. Same again with that. So we just copy that, paste it here. So uh, if that's false, equals true. However, if it's else, if it's not, and it equals true, then we want it to equal false. That's our basic loop. So basically, when we press the V, if the which cam is false, make it true. Yeah. Then we press it again. If it equals false, it doesn't it equals true. So skip this. And then else, if it equals true, which it does, make it false again. So then it will go down, 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 down. And it's basically a loop, yeah. Small loop. Now under our input here, so click it, make sure you're under it. Don't put it in here because that will mess up. If it's here, we want if which cam equals false here, another one. Then we want cam third dot active because it's already a game object and we want it to equal true so we want third person to act be active if it's equals false and we want cam fps active equals false so we don't want that one true simple now we select all this duplicate it control slash command d if it equals true which it does then we want the top one to be false so the third person to be disabled the fps to be enabled so that should be our simple script. That should change the camera. That simple. So go to our character. No any any errors? Nope. Drag our camera switch onto our character like we have. And here we will stick our FPS camera in the right one and then the third person in the right one. You can rename this camera if you like, but I'm just going to leave it. 
So now, let's play. Let's see if it works. I've just hit 15 minutes. Right. So, everything works. V, first person. There we go. That's a bit different. As you can see, you will have to adjust the height, but like, I think that's pretty awesome how you can see his head. But yeah, Shao Kahn is pretty tall. So we could walk over here. The bullets still work. There we go. We can either walk inside these trees, which it gets a bit laggy because I'm recording. Now, if we look here, press V. As you can see, we can't see anything at all because the trees. So, if we press V, we're back in. As you can see, we are at the back. We can actually see the back of our wall for once. And we have some kind of castle thing going on. I don't even remember doing this. Splash space so we can cheat and jump over it. Just to make sure it works, press V. 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 You will notice if you t walk straight and do it, it instantly. However, if you're in first person, turn around a bit, press V, it'll spin round. But yeah, I think that's pretty adds to the effect. So yeah, um, so next tutorial I'm thinking about adding some more weaponry because yes I love my weapons. I was thinking if we hold, select the Hadouken and then we hold down fire it like charges up so it's like ah, and then we let go it goes Dooken and fire is a big one. Um, I've also been working on the Skyrim's Fuss Road Da one and like what I did is like put a cylinder there and like pushed it outwards faster and made it expand and then what we could do is like add physics which pushes outwards which would push everything away and like we could add scorpion spear as you saw I'm working on um, yeah we could pretty much add combo so like if you press it three it fire on the Hadouken three times in a row it like goes Hadouken Hadouken then like bigger Hadouken or something um, yeah so Thanks for watching, please like, comment and subscribe and see you.